Hi, I'm Kelly Conwisher. I'm glad you're here to 90 Day Gold together with me. It's day 54, and this week we're talking about all of the great things that can um, we can learn to help us to change our behavior, to modify what we're doing so that we can embrace a new 90 day goal and be successful at it. You are doing a great job. Uh, we're in the 50s now. Um, we're definitely over the tipping point, heading towards success. Um, and so we're just talking about ways in which um, if you're getting tired or it's getting hard, what are the ways that, that we can think about getting back on track and getting motivated? And we're looking at that through the metaphor of a rider and an elephant in a path that Chip Heath and Dan Heath uh, put out in their book, Switch. And one of the greatest takeaways from the book that um, has really helped me in my life is the idea of looking for the bright spots. When we're thinking about changing behavior, we often do that from a place of this isn't working for me, this is really broken or hard, I don't like this, so I'm gonna change my behavior. And we often do that in ways that um, are either reactive or happenstance and may not uh, be ones that are natural to us or that we can really lean into based on our own you know, interests and talents. But what they talk about in the book is one way to really be more successful in changing your behavior is to look at ways in which you're already succeeding. Not everything in your life is broken or hard, and there are times in your life, maybe right now or maybe in a different chapter in your story, in which you have been very successful in accomplishing a goal or creating a behavior change. And the question I have for you is, what was in the picture during those successful times? In other words, what are the bright spots that you can focus on for motivation? Also, we want to look at bright spots in terms of what do we know really works. There are, um, regardless of what type of 90 day goal you have, we want to make sure that the, the type of behavior that you're, you're managing or changing in your life is one that can be successful because it's been, there's been some proven or demonstrated success to it. So instead of just thinking, oh, I'll just try this, um, have you looked at what works? Maybe that is through research, maybe that's through talking to a professional or other people. We really know that there are um, ways in which to go about the behavior change you are t- or you are seeking to have and to use that as a bright spot. So this is a great takeaway. It's a wonderful um, idea from the book that I've modified here to help us with our 90 day goal. But but definitely don't just focus on the things that are broken or hard or not working. Definitely don't just try to go at it randomly. Instead, look at the ways in which you've been successful in the past. What, what were those? How do we understand those and put those into our system right now? And what do we know works um, in the one thing information that we have that we know this works, well, how does that apply to us and align with the behavior change that we're seeking to make as we stay focused on a singular 90-day goal? So go for those bright spots. I'm Kelly Conwisher, kelly at futurechurch.co. I look forward to hearing from you and I will see you next time.